Hi and welcome. This project will be a relatively quick one. I'm doing a favor for a friend of mine who has a set of BMWs that he's trying to combine parts and build a new custom BMW out of and he needed a bolt for power steering hose and uh, since he's combining parts from different makes and models or something like that um, he needs a uh, specific bolt for the power steer for a power steering hose made uh, so I will do that for him. I'm going to make it out of some stainless and uh, it has its cross hole drilled so it has a center hole that goes not quite all the way through with a cross hole that allows the hydraulic fluid to flow through the bolt to the hose to the uh, wherever it's going. So let's get started. All right so first up let's uh, face this guy. 303 stainless so it should machine really easily. I should be able to get a decent finish. Uh, my final diameter for the bolt uh, needs to be 0.861 and conveniently I have a 0.875 diameter piece of stock. I was originally used 4140 but my friend ensures me that uh, it doesn't need the added strength so go ahead and use whatever's easiest. Alright, faced away. So we need a nominal outside diameter of 0.861. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch off, find my zero. There we are, we're into some meat. And we're going to do a 5,000th pass first of all. And uh, we will come back after I mic it and do a final pass for the overall diameter. Alright, let's mic it and find out how close we are. We should have a relatively flat surface. So we need to go to 0 0.861. We're at 0 0.871. So... Let's take off the full ten thousandths and I think we're going to bump the speed up. Get a better finish. Alright, next step is going to be to take this down uh, the first 0.467 inches down to 0.467 for the threaded portion. So we'll try and take off 50 thousandths uh, passes and see how that goes for starters. I think we'll slow it down just a little bit. I think this might benefit from a higher RPM still. I'll go back up to the uh, 1100 RPMs and uh, we'll do another 50, see how that goes. See how close we are getting some long stringy nasties right around the wheel where my hand goes so i was dialing in amounts the last one was 61 thousandths and i was dialing in amounts to get it to an even 0.6 pretty close huh <laughs> considering i was just roughing it all right so we still have another 133 uh 133 thousandths left to go so a couple more 50 thousandths passes So 
that should put us at about 0.5 and we're shooting for 0.467 Ooh, it is very warm too. So there we are at uh, 3 tenths under 0.5, so that's very nice. A little more. 7 tenths under 5 or so, 6.5 tenths under 5. Right, I'm going to let this cool down. Well, this isn't super precision. These threads have a quite, so quite a few thousandths margin on them, so I don't know why I'm uh, beating this self death. I've got in the habit of trying to be as accurate as I can all the time because I'm not in business, so time is not of the essence. So what I instead what I try and do is just try and be as accurate as I can because it's a skill that's hard to acquire. <laughs> So next up, we're going in a total of 1.14 inches from the end to 5.548 inches diameter. And uh, we'll just scoop off again 50 thou at a pass. when I bring it back that the cutter hits the surface that's because I'm taking a cut big enough to actually deflect the part because the chucks I'm using are um, metal pieces embedded in rubber Jacob's chuck and uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to deflect me take big bites but I see it every time Five thousand. Problem is the part's hot enough that I really uh, can't count on my measurements. It's going to be off by a few tenths, and since I am shooting for accuracy, we're going to need to fix that. So we're shooting for 0.548, and here we are. So now I just need to champ for some edges here, here, and here. And then we will come back, center drill to depth, and then take it over the mill and cross drill and mill the flats for the uh, bolt head. So we'll start with the center drill. So to set depth, I'm going to use my tailstock DRO here. And since I've chamfered the hole, I can't find where the point touches relative to the face, so I'll show you the trick I use to do that. So it's kind of a multi-step process, but uh, I take my scale and very, very lightly hold it flush against the face, set my zero. That's 40 thousandths, so then I move in another 40 thousandths, right there. Set my zero again, now I can accurately get my depth in on the part, which is moderately important, not incredibly. So we're looking for a total depth of 0.959. So we're going to go in 0.959. Probably want some lube. Thanks.
so I forgot to mention the last step that I've got to do here, which is put the threading die and run it on there. I've taken the part, the uh, screw that splits the die, and I've currently split the die to make the threads not quite as deep. And I'll do a final pass where I relax that a bit and come back and uh, finish it. So we're going to cut some threads here, and my hands are probably going to be in the way. So I'll bring you right back. So I looked up the uh, pitch for the uh, metric 12 by one and a half uh, millimeters per thread. Uh, and uh, right here I've got 0 0.431. And uh, I took an average. So I went in the middle of 10.886 to 11.026, converted to English units 0.431. So we're right on the money. So I was adjusting the die until I got that depth. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and uh, we will move over to the cross drill and the milling. So one of the things I did, right or wrong, was uh, you know you start the die on with the starting thread side and after I got the threads essentially established I went back and reversed this with the final dimension threads and went all the way in so that my final threads would be full dimension rather than tightening up. Alright so next stop over to the mill cross drill and mill the flats. Alright so here we are with the mill finding our zeros. I found my Y zero already and I need to find my X zero next because we're going to drill and machine flats. The drilling needs to be somewhat precise. Alright so we're going to start with a center drill got a stubby drill here that we're going to use for the final hole so it doesn't deflect too much. And this hole needs to go all the way through. So here's what I did. Since I can find the peak of the point, uh, 0861, I can find the top because I know my mill is dead center so I can have the milling cutter right over and just barely touch it. That gives me my uh, zero point up here on the circle. And so using CAD, I calculated the depth down, the vertical depth I need to go on all sides. Turns out it's 0 0.058 inches on each side. So uh, that's what we'll do and we'll end up with a three quarter inch uh, wrench a socket probably close to 21, 20 millimeters. Set my new zero point at 58 thousandths. And now I can just rotate the part six times and uh, cut the rest of my flats. Side number two. Taking very light passes. And 
that's all there is to it. Just rinse and repeat. I will bring you back. All right, that completes the last one. Now we just take it over to the lathe, part it off, and uh, we'll uh, smooth off these uh, sharp edges as well. So last step is going to be to part this part off. However, what I do need to do uh, before I get there is I need to go in part way and then come back with a 60 degree tool and clean up these edges so they're not so sharp and they look nicer. So we're just going to go in a little ways and then stop. So we went in enough that I can clean up these edges. very pretty perfect all right we'll just part it off the rest of the way all right let's walk it in the part really cut so nicely so here's the final part and uh, Dimensions are a heck of a lot closer, I'm sure, than the factory dimensions, and it's made out of stainless steel instead of aluminum like the uh, replacement part that he ordered online. So uh, this one's out of 303 stainless, and uh, not quite as uh, resistant to corrosion as something like 316 or even 304 188, um, but should do the job. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time.